Hey guys, it's Miss Matsuri. Um, I know it has been a very long while since my last video, but that was because I had gotten sick over the past week before and I had literally lost my voice and <laughs> I was just not feeling too well, which made me have some delay in my videos for some time. But um, I'm actually a little better now, better than before, so I'm excited about some new videos I have in store for you guys, some unboxings and figure reviews. But what better way to start it with none other than a figure haul. And speaking of hauls, I had actually not done my November haul, so I'm going to combine the loot I had got in November along with my loot I had got for December as well. So this is going to be one large figure haul than how it was supposed to be. But enough with this rambling and let's just get started with the haul. So starting with my November loot with the little stuff I got first from Ami Ami. I got this pinch strap and pinch keychain and it's Saber from Fate Zero. Uh, I thought these were so cute and for the pinch strap I thought I could put it on my 3DS or something and for the keychain I could put on my bag or backpack. But these at the time that I got them, they were back ordered, and last time I checked recently, they have it on pre order right now until the re release in um, April of this year. But the pre orders are actually closed early. But um, yeah, uh, I'm actually surprised at how big it is. I kind of expected it to be smaller, but um, I still love it, and of course, it's Saver, so I just had to get these. Continuing on with the Fate series, I had got this new type magazine and I got this from my local Japanese store here where I live. And as you guys can tell by the cover, this November issue featured the new Fate Stay Night Unlimited Playworks TV anime. And it has the lovely Saber and Rin on the cover. And usually in this magazine, it comes with a lot of great posters from different animes as well as other interesting content. And Usually I always buy this magazine, but I thought it was a real treat that they had a special feature for the Fate Stay Night, which I was so excited about. But I definitely recommend on getting this um, Japanese magazine. They also have this available on the AmiAmi website if you guys were interested in buying it. And it features a lot of various animes as well as a lot of cool bonus stuff included with it too. Now moving on with the figures, I finally got my Link Nendroid and this is the Wind Waker version by Good Smell Company. He is Nendroid number 413 and yes, I am aware that this Nendroid was actually released in late October but I had pre-ordered this on Crunchyroll back in June and I don't know why but it was delayed for a long time so I received mine the month after its original release. So it was a bit nerve-wracking because it was my first time ordering it from the website and I don't know if you guys can tell or even see it but um, this bit here on the box got bent up a little but you know it's okay. Um, regardless I finally have him and he looks so cute. I am a huge fan of the Legend of Zelda series and I also play the Wind Waker game too which is one of my favorites which speaking of. Um, I'm excited for the re-release of the Majora's Mask for the 3DS this year. Oh, that's so exciting! <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I'm so happy how he turned out in Android form and he looks amazing. Next item I got, or items, is this dressed up pajama set by Good Smile Company. I had found these in the pre-owned section for AB Quality on the AmiAmi website and this is the full set. And it features five different pajama pieces for your nandroids and you can use these to dress them up and have a little pajama party basically. But I thought these were so cute and fun just for your nandroids and I have to admit these were super expensive even for the peon section but I just couldn't pass them up so yeah I got these. Now moving on to my December loot, I got yet again two magazines. One is the same new type magazine and this other one is Animage. And same as usual, I always like picking these up and collecting all the goodies they have included, which is awesome. And what I love about this December issue for Animage is 
the Sora online to cast is all dressed up for Christmas and I find it cute that Asuna is holding a little kirito plushie, it's so adorable. And then from Mandarake, I got this Rin Piggy Bank or Coin Bank by Good Smile Company and if you had watched, I think, my September haul, I also got the Len Coin Bank and when I saw Rin on Mandarake, I just had to get her. I just couldn't have Len all by himself because <laughs> they are always together as you guys may already know but anyway. Um, this is such a cute coin bank of Rin. She is sitting in this cute little pink tulip flower with an adorable winking face. And I'll be using this as for what it is by putting coins inside. But yeah, I thought it was a very cute display other than a coin bank. So yeah, that is that. Now for the figures, I actually got this as a Christmas gift from a great friend of mine who is known as T-Dino or Ta here on YouTube and he got me the Saber Zero Nendry version by Good Small Company and I can't thank him enough for getting me this Nendroid and I say it in almost all my videos and I'll say it again, um, Saber is my ultimate waifu and I'm so excited to finally have this Nendroid of her especially her motorcycle in this nendro form i mean how cute is that right um but yeah thanks again to tall for getting me this i really really love it so much next i got this sheena nendroid she is number 452 and i had her on pre-order months before and I just love how she turned out in the Nendroid line. I think she will fit perfectly next to my Kirito and Asuna Nendroids. And I'm just hoping they can make more of the Sora Online characters as well. Hopefully Kirito, cross fingers. <laughs> but um, I'm still in the midst of getting scale figures from the Sora Online series. As I know the scale figure of Shinan came out just recently too. But you know, I'll see. I'll see hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, um, I'll just keep her Nendroid and I just absolutely love her. She looks so adorable. And lastly, I was able to get the Love Live 1-2 Jump Scale figures and these are by Kotobukiya. And they both are 1-8 e scale and I already have Kotori so these complete my set of the girls. And first up, I have Umi and her figure is by far my most favorite in this line and she really looks amazing in person. I've seen a lot of great reviews on her so I'm really really excited to unbox her. And lastly I have Hanuka. She really was a journey to find but I found her on AmiAmi pre-owned for AB quality just like the Umi figure that I had got. But I had heard she has not had a re-release for this figure as of yet but I really hope they do as I know some people are still trying to get her. But nonetheless, I'm happy I was able to finally add her next to Umi and Kotori. And it would be nice if they made the other girls as I would love to get Maki because she's my favorite of the bunch. But anyways, yeah, that's Hanuka and Umi that I got from Love Live. Last Nandroid I got is the Saber Nandroid Complete File Edition by Good Smile. And she is number... 225 in the line of nendroids and i got her as a quality on ami ami pre-owned and what's unique about this particular nendroid is not only it has the lovely saber here on the front but it also includes a nendroid book or album that features all of the nendroids that were produced by good smile company so i thought it was a nice extra that they included this with the nendroid of saber which speaking of the nendroid um, Saber is in her casual clothes that she wears in the Fate Stay Night anime and what I love about it is that she has her stuffed lion plushie that she can hold. So I'm just super excited to finally own this Nendroid of her and I can't wait to take a look at the book included with it too. Alright guys, so that is it for my loot for the months of November and December. I really didn't get too much, but I know for this month of January, I had splurged a lot more than I was supposed to. So be sure to check back on that in my next haul video. And also be on the lookout for some unboxings as well as some reviews I had planned for these figures featured in this haul. I also have other planned videos I need to do that I remember 
a few people had asked me if I could do so I need to get that done as soon as I can and also I noticed I exceeded to over 400 subs which is amazing um, thank you all so much I really hope you all enjoy the content I have on this channel and more future videos I have coming soon so look forward to that and yeah guys thank you so much for watching and until next time I will see you all in the next video. Bye!